Tonino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Nice going, Trigger. How about saying your prayers? That's good. Kiss. here as soon as I could. Oh, those yellow-bellied sneaks. That's the second time this month they hit me. And it just about washes me up. I've only got a few head left. It won't be enough to pay expenses. They always seem to pick on the smaller ranches who have many hands to guard their herd. I could help if you'd let me have a gun. I'd catch the dirty poor cats. I'd show them. No, 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 Donnie. You're, oh, you're just a lad. Besides, I didn't bring my son up to be a gunslinger. Your ma's dead set against it. I'm getting too old, Roy. This old rheumatism just about got me slowed down to a walk. We still might be able to get your cattle back. I'll tell you what. I'll get in touch with the sheriff and have him set up another roadblock. Maybe we can head that truck off this time. Yeah, it might be worth a try. Let's go. No, sir. I just can't quite figure out this thing. It beats me. Well, how can a truck just vanish into thin air? Well, it gets to the highway, and that's the last that's seen of it. We've had all the roads blocked, and still we didn't catch them. Maybe that truck sprouts wings and flies, but I'll bet you Nellie Bell could catch her. Maybe she could at that. Well, this wave of rustling's got to be stopped, or else every small rancher in the valley's going to be wiped out. It's the ones that can least afford it that are suffering the most. The Cattlemen's Association have offered a reward, but this whole thing has got me stumped. Anyway, it's Roy's baby now. What do you mean? Well, they've asked for Roy to lead them in this, so I've appointed him a special deputy. Good. What's your first move? Well, I'm up against the same thing the sheriff is. I don't know where to start just yet. Well, you mean you're just going to sit and wait for them to hit again? This is a new technique, hit and run. Well, I'll do anything I can to help. Yeah, I'm at your service, too. Me and Nellie Bell. You better get Nellie Bell in top running condition. Why, shut up. Nellie Bell could walk away from that truck just hitting on two cylinders. By the way, Pat, this came for you this morning. What is it? That's your tow bill for the month. Gee whiz. <laughs> oh, howdy, mister. Hi. You run this joint? This ain't no joint, buster. 
You must be a stranger in town. I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. So the Eureka's not a joint, huh? Who does the ordering? Well, the customers do the ordering as a rule, that is. Of course, now with the regulars, they always get the same thing. The usual, they call it. And, well, well, look, look, Dimples. Who buys the supplies, the food? Oh, you must mean Dale Evans. Well, she owns the cafe. She's inside. I want to see her. This is business, Dimples. I want to see her alone. Yeah, sure. Who is this cotton picker? Howdy. Howdy, miss. What do you have? Just coffee. Right. That's the place you got here. Thank you. Glad you like it. Tell me, who do you buy your meat from? My policy is to do business with the local people. Are you a salesman? Yeah, I'm with a new outfit. I'm out to get business for them. You know, we can supply you with butchered beef for about 25% less than you're paying now. Well, that's quite a saving, but I'm satisfied with the local trade. Well, I wouldn't be so hasty. Aren't you interested in making money? A lot of money? Well, sure, but... Well, I guess you just don't understand. I just feel I should deal with the local concerns. Well, it'd be a shame if anything happened to this nice little place. Listen, do you mean what I think you mean? Or are you just making up words? I guess you didn't hear what happened to that little restaurant over in Crooked Creek. No, I didn't. Somebody busted it up pretty bad. It cost a lot of time and money to put it back together again. You better think it over. And you better get out of here. You've overstayed your welcome, mister. Take it easy, sister. I just said you better think it over. All right. I will think it over. Where can I get in touch with you? I'll be around. You know, it's going to be a pleasure to do business with a pretty girl like you. No, I didn't cut into that Jasper Dale. You gonna give him any business? I'll say I'm gonna give him the business. I didn't think you would. You are? And you think that that meat salesman may have some connection with those hit-and-run rustlers? Well, black market meat isn't unheard of. This could be one of their outlets. There's one way to find out for sure. The next time he comes into your cafe, you let on the... Take a walk, Buster. Yeah, you can't talk that way to me. I don't take no orders from nobody. Oh, it's a free country, ain't it? Yeah? Well, get out and enjoy it. I said take a walk. Well, how about it, sister? Well, I can't afford any trouble, so I'll deal with you. One trial order, anyway. You're not only pretty, baby, but you're real smart, too. You know, we're gonna get along real fine, you and me. We are. Would you like to take my order? Oh, I think I know what you need. We'll just make the standard cafe delivery. But what if I can't use it all? You'll find a way. Just like I said, you're not only pretty, but you're smart, too. When will you make the first delivery? Don't you worry about that. We take care of our customers. You'll get it. at the back door. You're going to have to go around the front. Funny stuff, huh? We're delivering your meat, bub. Oh, well, just a minute. Dale? Hey, I can't use all that meat. We have it home. Roy, they're here making that meat delivery. All right, Mickey. enough meat to last me for a whole month. Where's my invoice? You don't need it. Our collector will be around with the bill. You got any objections? No, of course not. Well, that's good, because we only like to have satisfied customers. See you again real soon. Number. I'll call the sheriff. Good. Move over. Nella Bell knows her master's touch. She's temperamental. Stay far enough behind them so they won't know we're following them. Oh, don't you worry, none. Nella Bell and me won't let you down. <laughs> master's touch, huh? Oh, Nellie Bell.
I thought that jeep was following us. He slowed down back there. We'll turn off around that curve and make sure. I don't like the looks of this. If we follow them onto that road, they'll spot us for sure. We don't have to stick to the road. I can take Nellie Bell right up and over that hill. Well, let's try it. We can get above them and watch them from there. Well, there's no sign of them down there. But they couldn't have gone by yet. Mm. They might have turned around, headed back toward the highway. Maybe there's another turn off. I'll tell you what. You take Nella Bell straight down to the road and drive slowly back to the highway. I'll cut over here on foot and we'll meet right down there. Right. What are you hit me with? Ah, oh, gee, Roy, I, I didn't mean to hit you. I didn't know that guy was going to swap heads with you. Forget it, Pat. Oh, heck, they got away. And they saw us. That spoils everything. Now they know we're after them. Well, they'd have to find out sooner or later. If Dale called the sheriff, maybe he knows by now who that truck's registered to. Come on. Same thing, Roy. Nobody saw that truck once it hit the highway. We've just got to do something about it. Where are you going? That truck must turn off the highway someplace close by. And I'm going to try to find out what road it uses. Sights you can't miss. It's like knocking over a sitting duck. Bullseye. You think we ought to go down and make sure? Nah, let's get out of here in case anybody heard that shot. Come here, Trigger. out of her hair for a while, but she didn't get rid of him permanently. Why, what do you mean? I saw that slug hit. Yeah, but I understand he'll be up and around for long. You want us to go back and finish the job? No, oh, now he knows we mean business. I understand he thinks a lot of that girl, Dale Evans. We'll work this thing through her. Say, what about teaching her a little lesson, too? We could certainly mess up that cafe of hers. Well, we'll use her to deliver a warning to Roger. You can do a little window breaking instead. Out of the house. 
I thought you were supposed to be in bed. Well, I have to get my strength back, and I sure can't do it by staying in the house. Good to see you, Dale. I came out here on account of this. Tell Rogers he has his first and last warning. If he keeps on being nosy, the same thing could happen to you. Where'd you get this? That came through my cafe window on a rock. Dale, you're liable to get shot if I keep on trying to find those rustlers. But you gotta keep on. Well, it may be. But those men won't stop at murder. They've proven that. You better stay out of this. Well, you can't ride yet. I might as well do what I can. Now, listen, just let the sheriff handle it and stay out of it. If you think I'm going to let somebody throw a rock in my cafe window and threaten my life and not do anything about it, you're just wrong, that's all. Well, I'm only trying to keep you from getting hurt. No time for that. Roy ain't well enough to ride yet. Nobody else is close enough. Then give me a gun. Donnie, no, you're too young. You keep out of this. Oh, Ma, plenty chill, but I can handle a gun. For the last time you've got the to The boy is old enough to help protect what belongs to him. Sam, I'm not going to stand for this. I've got no time to argue now, woman. right over that ridge in a hurry. You go back and get the sheriff and tell him to follow that trail. What are you aiming to do? I'm going to try to keep him in sight and see where he's headed. Well, now, go what? on, Pat. There's no time to argue. Go on. All right. <laughs> Roy, Roy, the, the rustlers have killed Sam. Donnie's gone after them. He's riding to the point where that truck was last seen. Well, that's where I was ambushed. Roy, you shouldn't. You're not well enough to ride. I'm all right. Don't you worry. Nobody's going to hurt Donnie. Get him up. 
Get over to the house. Hey, Garson. Look what I found. What's your name? When I ask you a question, answer me. What's your name? I think it's a McGinnis kid. You killed my father. You took all of our cattle and then you killed him. Hold it. Just the way you are. Drop that gun or the boy gets it. Over here, Princess. Hurry it up. Don't let him get away again, Dale. I'm sorry, Donnie. Take him in the house and tie him up. Roy! Angel and help take care of these birds. Well, Sheriff, you're just in time. Here's one of the rustlers, the other two are in the back end. Fine, Roy. We'll take care of the other two. Come on, you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Donnie. Oh, Miss McGinnis. Donnie, I asked Pat to pick you up and bring you over here to collect your share of the reward. You see, I'm representing the Cattlemen's Association, and they've asked me to present this check for $5,000 to you, Donnie, for being directly responsible for the capture of those rustlers. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to Donnie and me. It'll go a long ways towards his education. Well, he's a fine boy, Mrs. McGinnis, and he deserves it. Mm. Oh, gee whiz. Well, now, that's for the man of the house, Donnie. Well, what about me and Nellie Bell? After all, we deserve some sort of reward. <laughs>
betrayed.